In this lesson, we are going to learn how to use proportions to solve ratio problems. A ratio is a comparison of two or more quantities with the same unit. For example, let's compare apples to oranges. So in the picture, we have one, two, three, four, five apples and one, two, three hidden behind here, four oranges. So when we're writing the ratio, we're going to compare five apples to four oranges. Now in order to write this, what we really want to write is five, and we're going to use this colon to represent the word two, four. So this is read as five, two, four. Now the order of our numbers in the ratio is very important. It must be the same as the order of our comparison. So since we are comparing apples to oranges, we're comparing five apples to four oranges. If it were the other way around, and we were comparing oranges to apples, then our ratios would be different, because we'd be comparing four oranges to five apples, so our ratio would be four to five. Another comparison we can do is comparing, let's say, apples to the total amount of fruit in the basket. Total. So we have five apples, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine total pieces of fruit in the basket. So we can say that apples to total is five to nine. Now, this is one way we can represent ratios. Another way to represent a ratio is as a fraction. When we write a ratio as a fraction, the first number in the ratio becomes the numerator, and the second number in the ratio becomes the denominator. So in the case of apples to oranges, as a fraction, we can say it's five to four, or five over four. Oranges to apples, then, will be four over five or our apples to the total will be five over nine. Let's take a look at some proportions. A proportion is a statement that two ratios are equal. So for example, let's say we have a proportion that says n, some unknown quantity, compared to 21, is the same or is equal to nine to seven. So in order to solve a proportion, we are going to, or in order to solve for this unknown value, we're going to solve the proportion. So to do that, our first step is to represent the ratio as a fraction. So remembering that the first number or the first variable is the numerator and the second is the denominator. So n to 21 becomes n over 21 and it's still equal to nine to seven becomes nine over seven. Once we've done that, in order to actually solve the proportion, so to solve the proportion, we're going to cross multiply. So once again, if we have our ratio or our proportion, n over 21 is equal to nine over seven. When we cross multiply, we're gonna multiply n times seven and 21 times nine. We can rewrite this n times seven is equal to nine times 21. So we have seven N equals nine times 21 is 189. And now if you think back to your algebra skills, we wanna solve for N. So in order to isolate or solve for N, we're gonna divide both sides by seven, which cancels out. So we have N equals 
27. So the key to solving these proportion problems is this cross multiplication. So try to remember cross multiply to solve the proportions. Let's continue by looking at a couple examples. During the 2012-2013 regular season, the ratio of shots taken to goals scored for the Toronto Maple Leafs center Nazim Kadri is 50 to 9. If he had a 25 goal season, how many shots did he take? Well, let's start by writing out the ratios. So the ratio is shots taken to goals scored. So let's say shots to goals. And in the first ratio, we had 50 shots to 9 goals. If he had a 25 goal season, so 25 can go in this column, and we'll set up the ratio, how many shots did he take? Well, that's what we're trying to find. So shots is going to be the variable in this question. And we can use a small s to represent shots. So now that we have this written out, we can set up the proportion. So we have 50 shots to 9 goals is equal to s shots to 25 goals. Now remember, our first step to solving a proportion is to rewrite the ratios as a fraction, or represent the ratios as a fraction. So 50 over 9 is equal to s over 25. Now once again we're going to cross multiply. So we're going to multiply 50 times 25 and 9 times s. So we have 50 times 25 is equal to 9 times s. So 50 times 25 is 1,250, and that is equal to 9s. And again, using our algebra skills, we'll solve for s. So we'll divide both sides by 9. And we end up with 138 decimal 8 is equal to s. Now, we obviously can't take decimal 8 of a shot, so we're going to have to round this up. So to finish the question, we'll write our therefore statement. So we can say, therefore, he took, and if we round up, we'll say 139 shots. Let's take a look at one final example. In this example, at a popular summer camp, for every three campers who canoed, five kayaked. If 87 campers canoed, how many campers kayaked? Once again, let's start by building and setting up the ratios for this question. So we're comparing campers who canoed to campers who kayaked. So campers who canoed to campers who kayaked. Well, from the question we know that for every three campers who canoed, so three campers canoed, we're comparing that to five campers who kayaked. So our first ratio is 3 to 5. If 87 campers canoed, so 87 we'll put under the column with canoeing, so 87 campers canoed, we want to find out how many campers kayaked. So let's use k for kayaking as the variable. And we'll put that, of course, under the column under kayak. Once we've set up these ratios, we can now write out the proportion. We have 3 to 5 is equal to 87 to k. Once again, before we solve for k, in order to solve this proportion, we're going to rewrite the ratios as fractions. So we'll say 3 over 5 because again, 3 is the first number in the ratio, so it goes on the numerator. 5 is the second, so it's the denominator, is equal to 87 over k. And now remember, the key to solving these is the cross multiplication. So 3 times k and eight, 5 times 87. 
3 times k equals 5 times 87. So 3k equals 5 times 87 is 435. And once again, we'll use our algebra skills to solve for k. So we'll divide both sides by 3. And 3's cancel out because 3 divided by 3 is 1. So we're left with k is equal to 435 divided by 3, which is 145. So to finish the question, write our statement. We'll say, therefore, 145 campers kayaked. And that is how we use proportions to solve ratio problems. Thanks for watching. As always, you can download and view the notes to this lesson from our class website.